My name is Tom Swan. I'm the President of Veterans for Peace. This is Tracy Turner, our Assistant Treasurer. Thank you for that nice welcome. This is the fourth anniversary of Veterans for Peace. We began on the Super Bowl 2005, on Super Bowl Sunday. If you recall, George Bush had just stolen the November election. Pe people were very depressed. Vicki Wilson was talking about moving to Canada at that time. This was before Camp Casey, when people were very depressed that we lost that election. And I told everyone to stay and resist the Bush regime until we can have a regime change here at all. We persevered and now a new era has begun. The theme tonight is uh, honoring our peacemakers. And of course, the, there's a scripture that says, Blessed are the peacemakers, they should be called the sons of God, sons and daughters of God. And that's what we're doing tonight, we're honoring peacemakers. Currently, the war debt in Iraq stands at 4,245. And in Afghanistan, it's 853. But Jeff is the Executive Director of Equality California. I've known him for some time. I've seen him in action in Sacramento. I've been there when he testified before the legislature. The most legislators is wonderful. And he, of course, his group is trying to support the lifting of the gay ban. So gays and lesbians can serve openly in the military. Thank you, Tom. Hi, everyone. Um, one of the things we've also done is California is the first, and I believe the only state that has passed legislation to allow openly lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people to serve in the California State Militia. And that is a good start. We've got a long way to go. But you know, elected officials are really perfect people. We're not vindictive or petty or, uh, or anything like that. Sally and Peter, artists turned filmmakers, still artists, saving children's lives daily by showing their film. We wanted to, you to know that we're going to honor our soldier here tonight. And we're off. She, she's a goddess. The 80% of the people that are coming back from Iraq are saying that they've got emotional problems we want to deal with. 35 40% say we need help. The Veterans Administration has not geared up for it. We've got people that are waiting months and months and months. We saw the statistics of the number of people that are, that are attempting suicide that are, that are successful tragically in suicide and the homeless that we have. We in the country have to do a heck of a lot better job than what's being done right now. here because of the sons and daughters of the tens of thousands of sons and daughters who are still in Iraq facing daily danger. Uh, I cannot express, there are no words to express what it's like to lose a child and to lose a child the way we lost Devin. I enlisted with the help of my best friend's mother that signed for me. God bless my mother for not signing for me. I would tell the children, think first of your mother. She's going to cry the hardest. If you then, after all that is said, Still think about joining the Rangers. Don't. Don't. Outstanding service to our veterans. Our 
Arturo and Rosanna Cantro. Please join me in saluting Colonel Ann Wright for her three decades of service to our country, her unwavering commitment to her convictions, and for her tireless voice advocating peace. Casey Sheehan M. Vets Post, Silver Helmet Award for Outstanding Service. Ann Wright, Colonel, retired. We honor your leadership and devotion to peace justice, and veterans' issues. Thank you, Anna. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate so much Tom, Tracy, and all of the Veterans for Peace group and the American Vets group that's here. It's, it's a real honor to be with you here in Palm Springs. Thank you all very much. Art Coppleston, the Veterans for Peace of the Inland Am Empire uh, Award to Art Coppleston, the 2008 Friends of the Veteran Award. We cherish your leadership and devotion to peace, justice, and veteran issues. Thank you. I want to thank you so much for inviting us tonight. I would look forward to our continued participation in the Veterans for Peace. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our Vice President, Vicki Wilson, give her a nice round of applause. Yay! This year, the Member of the Year Award goes to Paul Russell. Veterans for Peace, Inland Empire, California, 2008 Member of the Year, in memory of Navy Captain Ernest Evans for outstanding service. We were hoping Lieutenant Governor John Garamendi could come, but you know they cut his budget. They cut his budget. So no, he couldn't come, and nobody, he couldn't fly down here, none of his staff people could come. So the Lieutenant Governor asked Greg Pettis to accept this award on his behalf. So that's, I'm very touched by that, that, that the Lieutenant Governor called on Greg to do that. And uh, here's Greg Pettis. The Lieutenant Governor was very sad that he wasn't able to make it, and he certainly sends his, his best. Uh, and to Colonel Wright, uh, how proud he, he was to be recognized the same night that she is. Uh, as was mentioned, John has done some tremendous things for the state of California, and will be doing some even better things in the next few months and, and years to come. Uh, he will be back down in the desert and hopes to meet with all of you very soon. Thank you very much for that.